In this video, we'll talk about factorials, permutations, and combinations. They're all used for counting for different situations. Let's talk about factorial first. N factorial is written as N with an exclamation mark. And N factorial is an operation that multiplies all the positive whole numbers that are less than or equal to n together. For example, 5 factorial would be equal to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 20 times 6, right? So 120 here. And we define 0 factorial as 1. When do we use factorial? If you want to put n numbers in order, there are a total of n factorial ways. This can be explained by using the multiplication principle for counting. If we put n numbers in order, that means we have n positions. For the first position, we have n choices. For the second position, since 1 is taken, we have n minus 1 choices. The next position, we have n minus 2 choices. And all the way till the second to the last, we have 2 choices because we have 2 positions left. And the last position, we have only 1 choice because there's only 1 left. And the number of ways to order n numbers will be the multiplication of all these numbers, which is equal to n factorial. Now let's look at this case. I want to pick 3 out of 11 choices and put them in order. We can use the multiplication principle to find the number of ways. First of all, we have 3 numbers to pick, so 3 positions. And we have 11 choices. That means for the first position, we have 11 choices. And the second position, we only have 10 choices because one is taken from the first position. And the third position, we only have 9 choices because first two are taken. So altogether, we have 11 times 10 times 9 ways. Representing this using factorial is 11 factorial divided by 8 factorial. Well, here the 8 factorial, let's write it as 11 minus 3. This actually defines what permutation is. This actually defines what a permutation is. This is the permutation of choosing 3 out of 11 choices with order matters. So a permutation is used to count the number of ways of picking R objects out of N choices and put them in order. And we write it as n, p, r. And to calculate this, we will use n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. And this is the definition. An easier way to see it, take 25p4, for example, is equal to starting from 25, 25 times 24 times 23 times 22. So altogether we have four numbers multiplying. And whatever that is, that's 24 P4, 25 P4. Here's an application problem. Say we have 35 students in class and a teacher wants to pick three students as the first 
prize winner, second prize winner, and the third prize winner. Here we're picking three out of 35 students, and here the order matters because we have a first and second and third prize. Right. So in this in this situation, we will use permutation. So it's 35 p 3. We're picking 3 out of 35. And this can be calculated as 35 times 34 times 33. And I just use the calculator, the answer is 39,270. So that means there are actually 39,270 ways to pick the first, the second, and the third winner of the prizes. Now I want to just choose three students out of the 35 students as a group of three. Can I use the permutation here, 35P3? The answer is no, because for 35P3, we overcounted a lot of the cases where you put the three students you picked in orders, first place, second place, third place. Here, we don't need that. We just want to pick three students and put them as one group. The order here does not matter. So here we will use 35P3 as part of the calculation, we have to divide this by the cases that we overcounted, which is putting the three numbers in order, which is three factorial cases. And to calculate this, we have 35 times 34 times 33 divided by 3 times 2 times 1. We can do a little bit cancellation here. I know that 34 and 2, they have a common factor of 2, so that's 17. This is 1. 33 and 3 becomes 11 and 1. So the answer is 35 times 17 times 11. Using my calculator, that's 6,545. If you look at the two answers, we can see that if the order does not matter, you get a lot less cases. Because you don't have to count for the cases where you put the three numbers in order. Right, so you have a lot less cases. Actually, to pick three out of 35 and put them in a group where the order does not matter is actually a combination. It is a combination of choosing three out of 35. And as we did the calculation earlier, it is equal to actually the permutation of choosing three out of 35 divided by three factorial. Let's make it more official. A combination is an operation to find the number of ways of choosing R objects out of N choices where the order does not matter. Choosing R out of N choices for combination is written as NCR. You can calculate it by using NPR to divide R factorial. Let's look at one example. Here, say I want to fi uh, choose five objects out of 10 choices as a group. So here, the order does not matter. The number of ways of choosing is 10C5. We will use combination here. Okay, to calculate this, we have 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6. How many do I have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Awesome. Divided by 5 factorial, which is 5 times 4 times 3 
times 2 times 1. So this will be the number of ways to making such a choice. Okay, uh, I'm going to do some cancellation here. 10 and 5 and 2, they cancel out. And here I have 9 and 3, that's a 3 here. 4 and 8, that becomes a 2. Okay, so it's actually 6 times 7 times 6. And the answer is 252. We can actually use a graphing calculator to calculate permutations and combinations. First, I will show you how to calculate 35P3 using a graphing calculator. There is a function in the calculator called NPR, and what you want to type is 35 NPR 3. So here's my graphing calculator. First, I will type 35 and and then I'll go to press this math button, math, and go to probability, so PRB. And under here, you can find the NPR. So choose that function and three. Enter, we'll do the calculation for you. So similarly, you can find the 35C3 by using the NCR function. So you will first type 35 and then go to math and then all the way to probability and choose the NCR function and three and enter. That's the answer for 35C3. Of course, if you don't have a graphing calculator, you can always find a calculator online. So what I did is type in permutation and combination calculator. Let's click the first one. All right, actually this one will find the permutation and the combination at the same time for you. So let's say our n is 35, the calculation we just did, and r is 3, and calculate, and they will find permutation on top and the, uh, the combination at the bottom. Hopefully you will find this video helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.